What's going on guys? So today we're going to look at how you can find the key of your sample so that you know where your 808s need to be or if you need to play any instruments over the sample you can do that as well. So let's jump right into this. So first I'm going to go pick out a sample. Alright this is the sample I got. Okay, so there's a couple ways we can do this in Ableton and there's other there's one other surefire way that we can look at as well. So the first thing we can do and this one doesn't work out as well as I'd like to all the time, but you can use Ableton's tuner right here and you can put this on you can put this on your melody track and it will pick up some of the notes here and there. It's not going to give you the actual scale that it's in, but you might get a note here or there that is in the scale. Okay, so looks like we got D, A, and F. D, E, and F. And this is actually picking up really well on this sample. Sometimes it doesn't pick up as well, sometimes it does, so it's a hit or miss. But on this one, it works pretty well. So we got like four or five different notes in there. So now we could go on the scale. It looks like the starting note is a D. Boom. So you would start your 808 on the D. And then from there, you could listen to this again, and you find a couple other ones that are on it. We got an F, an A. E and you could go through there and you could kind of map out which notes you can play on the 808 and which notes are going to work if you're adding any other instruments on top of it because as long as you have a couple notes to work with and you know what actually works when you play a note out of bounds you're going to know right away okay so for the second method what we're going to do is we're going to drag this onto a midi channel but i just tested it out and it looks like it only works if you have like an Omnisphere or something on that MIDI already. So like go grab an Omnisphere piano or a Keyscape piano or grab some kind of instrument, doesn't matter what it is, and put it on that MIDI track. So I have a piano here from Keyscape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this onto that. And it's gonna say right here, do you want the harmony, melody, or drums? And if you click on harmony here, it's actually gonna convert this into a MIDI format. So it's gonna try to pick out what notes were being played in this actual melody. Now it's not 100% correct, so there might be some notes that are out of bounds or there might be some double notes or weird stuff like that, but this is going to give you like the chords and the notes that are being used in this melody and it's very, very useful for finding the key and knowing what notes you're allowed to play. And now we got this craziness. So you can see how there's like double notes here and here and here, like those are probably off and you'd need to tweak those, but... And let's get rid of all these lower notes because those just look ugly, right? I'm gonna get I'm gonna just gonna clean it up just a little bit really quick. Alright, awesome. So I just got rid of some of the notes below it and above it. So this is what it sounds like now. So right there, you could have a piano melody that you could layer with your original melody already. And all you would have to do is just trim off some of these notes, like maybe these crazy notes like that. You just lengthen them instead of having them play. Get rid of like some of these extra notes like that. You know, just do this and then listen to it and get rid of any notes that don't need to be there. Like this E probably shouldn't be there. But you just listen to it and figure it out. And you already have all this midi here. So now you know what you can play. D, A, F, E, those are the ones we saw in Tuner, so we know this is right. So lucky for us, Ableton has that feature, so definitely take advantage of that. Okay, so now that we went over the two ways that you can do it in Ableton, there's one different way that you can do it that I use all the time that is a surefire way. It gives you the key, so you don't even have to worry about what notes are being used, and that's using Scalar 2. This just happens to be one of the added features of Scalar 2. This, is, uh, this plugin is used to make chords and stuff like that, so like, for instance, if you go into these scales here, it gives you all of the scales, it lists them, and then it gives you like the chords that are within that scale, and you can go in here and play them and do all that stuff. But this isn't a tutorial on Scalar, I just want to let you know if you're interested in it, it's definitely worth the purchase, I believe it's like 50 bucks. So what you can do is you can freeze and flatten your track here, so you would just go freeze track, and then you would go flatten it. <clears throat> and that's automatically going to make it a WAV file for us, just in case it's already an MP3. So now you got Scalar opened up. What you're going to do is kind of drag it over to the side, and then you you go to the detect part right here, and you can just drag it right on. 
Okay, and then it's going to say this will replace your current detection. Yep. Boom. Okay, so it looks like we're in an F Lydian scale. So that's how you can do that with Scalar as well. All right, guys, so those are three ways that you can find the scale and key of your melodies in Ableton. Hope you guys liked that one. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here because we're uploading daily tutorials and you're not going to want to miss out on them. But besides that, I'll be catching you guys again in the next one. Peace out.